My number one goal on this channel is to help you get the best laptop at the best possible price. So today, I'm going to go through the top five things that you must do when shopping for a laptop. And straight up folks, the number of buyers that I see missing out on one of these and ending up paying too much or getting an absolutely crap laptop is insane. Tip number one, be well prepared. Manufacturers know that in a retail store environment or even online, the main way for you to differentiate one laptop from the next is by its specs. What processor does it have? What graphics? How much memory and storage? That sort of thing. But whether a laptop is great or absolute garbage just depends on so many other factors completely independent of their specs. Let me ask you this, what's worse? taking a few more seconds to perform a task or the laptop being a pain to actually use. Having jet engine like fan noise, getting so hot it's physically uncomfortable to touch, having horribly short battery life or even a screen so dim you need to constantly squint to make anything out. I'd take the trade off of a lower spec laptop for a laptop that's more enjoyable to use any day. Manufacturers and retailers know that these things, these creature comforts are difficult to test in a store or when you buy online. Seriously, how do you check whether a laptop has annoying fan noise in a store that is really loud? You can't. And since a lot of laptops are designed primarily to be sold, not to be used, they cram as high a config in them as possible at the expense of making the laptop actually enjoyable to use. If you put a high performance processor in a small laptop a, it's going to perform about the same as a lower tier processor because the laptop can't keep the processor cool enough to run it at its full performance. And B, it's going to sound like a jet engine taking off as the little fans are working overtime to keep it cool. And sorry to keep harping on about fan noise by the way, but that is just the number one thing, the number one complaint that I hear from laptop buyers in 2023. Let me give you one more ludicrous example. I see a ton of laptops being sold with large displays. This seems great, right? You can see more content on screen, but many of them have dim panels. And when the display is dim, the way you have to compensate is to make everything larger so it's easier to read. This negates the whole point of having a large screen laptop to begin with, to see more content. So if you buy one of these large laptops with a subpar display, you're basically paying more money for a laptop that's less portable with no additional benefit. So the solution is this, do thorough research before you buy. Watch videos from people who've actually used the laptops and can tell you which ones look great on paper versus which ones are actually good in real life. And thankfully you've found our channel where we do exactly that. And to make your life easy, I've placed links below this video to all the laptops we've tested thoroughly and are great. These are the laptops that are safe to buy that you aren't going to be posting one star reviews on in a month's time. Other than that, check Reddit and reviews on retailers sites to see if owners are reporting any major issues with the laptops that you're considering buying. And don't listen to salespeople who likely haven't used the laptops that they are selling. And obviously pay no attention to online and rubbish that marketing departments have written. Apple right now is trying to convince you that a MacBook Pro 14 with a measly 8 gig of memory is worth shelling out 1,600 US dollars or more for. Let me tell you, you aren't going to be doing many pro tasks with 8 gig of memory. And at that price range, there are laptops out there with 32 gig of memory that would destroy this one. Tip number two, don't overpay for your laptop. More on Apple. A friend of mine recently bought a MacBook Pro 14 from an Apple store. Why? An authorized reseller was literally selling that exact laptop for $200 off two blocks down the road. Apple doesn't discount their laptops, but their authorized resellers do. And Apple isn't alone here. Many manufacturers price their laptops to frequently go on sale. That makes them look more desirable. So don't be the Muppet that buys one of those laptops when they are at their full price. Use a price tracker like Honey and be patient. In my experience, you just won't have to wait all that long. Sales like this regularly occur. Now, on top of the sales, many retailers and manufacturers have coupons or discounts available to you. Students normally get discounts. Employees of major corporations, you'll probably find discounts in your HR portal. And if you don't, quit your job and find another one that offers better laptop discounts. And of course, there are discount coupons you'll likely find on the internet. An app like Honey will automatically find and try them for you, so give that a go. And by the way, this video isn't sponsored by Honey, but they probably should have. And to help you out, we've aggregated the best sales that are occurring on our favorite laptops. You'll find links to these just below the video, so check them out. Tip number three, try before you buy. If the laptop you're interested in is on display at a local store, just go try it out. 
Typing on the keyboard, using the trackpad and feeling the build quality will give you a decent idea. And a bit of wisdom from a pro here. If that laptop feels warm to the touch when it's just sitting on display at a store, pretty much doing nothing, trust me, when you get it home and start using it, it's going to feel a lot hotter. And retail stores are often darker than regular environments that you'll be using the laptop in. A laptop screen may seem bright in a store, but when you get it home, you may find it isn't. This is the same theory as to why most clothing stores are dimly lit. We all look prettier, and so does the laptop on display. So make sure that you're cognizant of whether the store you're in is dimly lit, so that you can compensate by making sure the laptop's display is super bright. Lastly, if a reseller lets you open a laptop, try it, and return it without a restocking fee, then give it a go. The best way to see if a laptop is right for you is by actually using it. Heck, if you're deciding between two or even three laptops and your finances allow it, you could buy multiple, try them, keep your favourite, and return the rest. Tip number four, consider buying a second-hand laptop or one from a prior year. Your money will go a lot further. With buying a second-hand laptop, I only recommend doing that from a retailer or manufacturer where A, you can return it if you find any issues with it, with no charge that is, B, you still get the manufacturer's warranty, and C, if you're buying it for business, you can get a receipt for tax purposes. So please check the store's policy before you buy. Generally speaking though, Best Buy, Amazon, and outlet stores from manufacturers like Dell and Apple tick this box. And when buying a model from a prior year, you need to know which laptops were the standouts from that year. I don't want you buying a lemon just because it looks super cheap. The way to find out which laptops were great in a prior year is to watch best laptop roundups that were published a year or more ago. But beware. YouTubers like me are a little naughty, we will often change titles of our videos to include the current year. That way our videos get more longevity. So ignore the year mentioned in the video's title and pay more attention to when it was actually published. Anyway, I'll place links to my roundup videos from the last two years in the description below too, so you can see which laptops are the ones to look out for. And even if you're buying a laptop secondhand or from a prior year, you still need to be aware of when the current version goes on sale. That's because when it does, discounts will likely cascade down to those prior year or secondhand models. Tip number five, don't buy crap you don't need. Avoid Norton and McAfee like a plague. They will try to scare you into purchasing their antivirus. Guys, Windows comes with antivirus. These scare tactics are literally one of the primary methods that real scammers use, the very people these companies claim that they are protecting you against. Manufacturers likely have lucrative deals with these ethically compromised companies, and that's why this crap is pre-installed on your computer. By the way, I do admit they do offer some additional protection services that may be useful. But honestly, the best way that you can protect yourself when on the internet is by being knowledgeable and vigilant. So instead of spending spending money on these awful companies, get educated by checking out the YouTubers who cover common internet scams, and I'm going to link their channels down below. Also, when it comes to Microsoft Office, your company or school may give you a significant discount or even have a free license available to you. And heck, if you need to save money, Google Docs is free. All right. That was a rant. I'm really worked up here. If you think I missed something, let me know with a comment down below. I read all your comments, I learn a lot from you guys, and I often incorporate your feedback in future videos. Make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed, tell your friends about the channel. Not only will it help you grow this channel, which means we can create more content for you, but as I always say, it makes my dearest mother very proud. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day, and I will catch you later.